السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ یا ربی لک الحمد کما یمبا ہوئی لی جلا لی وجی کا و عظیم سلطان اللہ ربنا لک الحمد بما خلقتنا و رزقتنا و حدیتنا و فرشت عنا اللہ لک الحمد بل ایمان و لک الحمد بل اسلام و لک الحمد بل قرآن اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربی زدنا علما اللہ فکنا فی الدین اللہ انا نسال کا علم نافی ہوں و عمل متقبل ہوں و رسکن تو یہ با اللہ ثبت نائند الموتی بلا الہ الا اللہ آمین یا رب العالمین اللہ صلی اللہ محمد و علی محمد اللہ صلی اللہ محمد و علی محمد اللہ صلی اللہ محمد و علی محمد اللہ جعلنا کلّہ صالحا وج الحل وجی کا خالص ولا تج الی آہدین فی ہی شعین آمین یا رب العالمین لیسن نمبر ٹوینٹی سیون ان شاء اللہ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ایپ نارمل سینٹنس اسٹرکچر ان جملہ فیلیا اینڈ بفور وی گو دیٹ آئی وانٹ آسک یو Uh, if you guys have any question regarding the homework we have last class. Uh, did, did you guys even attempt all these? Uh, yes. Aya, just, any just, problem? Just question 18, like Aya 18, number 18. Waqad qalaqtuka. There is min qablu. So I don't understand min qablu, like it should be min qabli or is it? Yeah, that's a good question. Actually, what happened, we learned that uh, whenever qabla, yeah. ba'da, okay? whenever these uh, special, uh, these mudaf, uh, sorry, these uh, zarf, because they are the, what kind of zarf they are? Mm, special mudaf. And they are to special and, uh, we, we're not going to call them special mudaf anymore. Because they are telling us time, right? Yes. Zarf zaman. They are telling us time. So whenever they, uh, they always come as mudaf. Hmm. Agree? Yes. They always come as mudaf. And what do they need after them? Mudafilehi. But when their mudafilehi is missing, then what happens? They get angry and they say, okay, I'm not going to be jar anymore if there is any harfu jar before it. So oh. this kablu is not getting its mudafilehi after it. Oh. And that's why it is not being min qabli. Okay. Okay. So if it, if there was muda, then it should be uh, min qabli. But whenever this happened, that uh, these uh, zarf, uh, they are not getting their uh, muda filahi, then they just uh, become stubborn and they decide not to take kasra anymore. So can you just read the muda filahi, for example, like... Uh... Mean Kabulul, then we have to add some uh, mudafilehi along with the Yeah, kabul. after Kabulu, there should be mudafilehi. It could yeah. be even <clears throat> this mudafilehi can be even um, sentence or even it can be any phrase. Okay. Hmm? So yes. that's why when and when it is not getting its mudaf, then it is not going to, if there was her future before it, it's not going to take us anymore. It's not going to be. Um, in jar status, basically. So it applies for both Zerf Zaman and Zerf Makan? 
Mm, yeah, basically, yeah. Okay. But mostly we will see that happening with the Kablu Bad, um, Badu. With that, basically, we will see this happening. Okay, in Quran. Yeah. <clears throat> so everyone is clear? Yeah, yeah, I'll have a question. Hmm. Wahanna. What is the Hanna? Is a different category of a word or? Wahana, not Wahana. It's Wahana. The oh, first... Wahana. Okay. That means yeah. just one. Okay. Wahana. And this vow is not a vow uh, ataf. No. It's part of the root letter. It's part of the root letter. Okay. Wahana. So Wahana mean uh, he became weak. Okay. So uh, uh, Muhin. Muhin is the from root letter. Muhin. So if I'm not wrong, look like. Okay, so Wahana, so now Wahana al Azmu Minni. So basically, this is Felun Madin, and then Failuhu oh. is Azmu mm -hmm. outside over here. Azmu. So this is Hazrat, uh, uh, Hazrat uh, Zakaria. Zakaria Islam is saying, yeah. He's mm -hmm. saying that my bones have become very weak, mm -hmm. very frail very delicate you know that in uh, old age our bones are very weak right so this is what he, he is saying to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything else we are all good okay alhamdulillah okay so now we can come to our lesson today's lesson is abnormal sentence structure who can remind me when we were doing Jumla Ismiya? Okay, first we're going to start. What is the normal sentence structure for Jumla Ismiya? Mm -hmm. What can I say? Ismuqtada, Habar, Kambike. Very good. So Muptada, Habar, and MBK. Can you tell me about Muptada more? Muptada is a uh, uh, the SM and and Rafa status. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it should, should be Rafa. It should be Rafa and mm -hmm. uh, usually is proper. Mm -hmm. Very good, Rafa and proper. And uh, Habar mm -hmm. is uh, usually related to the SM and is a uh, uh, common. And yeah, in rare good. cases, it could be proper in rare cases. R yeah. Mm -hmm. It should be Rafa. Rafa. Okay, okay, for sure. For sure and yeah. uh, But uh, there are exceptions. that It's mm -hmm. not going to be common every yeah. time. Sometimes it can be proper. Good. And what okay. about MBK? MBK is a germ-major fragment mm -hmm. <clears throat> that are related okay. to... Huh? Only germ-major? Uh, zarf fragment. Yes, jar majroor and zarf. Zarf fragment. That mm. is related to the cover. Exactly. Good. Okay. So now, if this order is switched, we learn that, right? Yeah. What's gonna abnormal. happen? That's yeah. gonna be abnormal structure. Yeah. Uh, so that's yeah. mean there would be ex exclusivity and some some ex exclusivity. Exactly. So, Exactly. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I'm going to tell you four terms, four terms that happen when there is a, a abnormal sentence structure and it could be Jumla Ismiya or it could be Jumla Felia. So what are the four things? The very first uh, thing you can remember a Tawqeed. Tawqeed. What does Tawqeed mean? Emphasis. Emphasis. emphasis, emphasis, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is emphasizing on something when that uh, switch happen, when this uh, abnormal sentence structure is there. Second thing you can remember, uh, taqsis. What does taqsis mean? Exclusive. Especially exclusive. Yeah, exclusive. so how are we going to translate then? 
only for him like it's like he's the one only like that yes so only would come yeah. okay then third thing could be the shriek what is the shriek if you are interested the shriek it's like the shock like an old yeah thing. so inside uh, curiosity uh, curiosity or interest Okay. Right? Ishtiyak. So, yeah, ishtiyak. <clears throat> and then third thing, a fourth thing could be <clears throat> Tauki, Taksis, Tashvik, and Tajil. Tajil, okay. What does Tajil mean? To make Ut things quickly? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we say Utlat, right? Utlat, so yeah. Must. Number four is Tajil. So, when uh, like less words are you like we say help right so this is tajil instead of saying the whole word whole sentence we're gonna just say one word to expedite something right so this is quick so these four things basically happen when there is a, uh, abnormal, abnormal sentence structure yeah and uh, doesn't matter if it is Jumla Ismiya or Jumla Felia. It applies to both. And it's not like uh, all four things going to apply. Maybe one of them, <clears throat> maybe two of them. Right? So it depends. And we need to ponder over it to find out which, which one is it. Okay? So now over here, okay, what is the normal sentence structure for Jumla Felia? Can I say? Yeah. So there is a fail, file, and mafool. Mm -hmm. But the fail itself, it is a complete sentence. Like uh, mm -hmm. is there's a hidden um, uh, file and file. And when uh, when we have like a here and a hua, hua mm -hmm. and a, then we look for the outsider uh, file, a door. Mm -hmm. so Good, Masha. Mafool, yeah. And this file is considered what? Uh, which one which is inside the, the outside or inside the file what status it should be is uh, rafa always rafa yes okay so file always rafa doesn't matter inside or outside yeah. it is going to be considered as a rafa and when it is outside we can see that it is always going to be uh, having the yeah yeah okay then and um, uh, further we can uh, see like uh, we have mafool and then mm -hmm. we learn uh, around uh, five uh, six types five types but the six also included uh, like mm -hmm. mafool he mafool fee mafool mm -hmm. we can uh, uh, see who and what and fee is the when and where mafool mm -hmm. is why and mafool hal is uh, like how it could be action and could be in the, um, uh, the doer also and mm -hmm. mafool but the mutalik mutal is a how like mutlak mutlak yes mm. and number six like mutalik bill uh, fail that we call like MBA but technically like there's a jar of majroor mm. and as like it's a married with the preposition mm -hmm. very good mashallah mashallah very good may Allah bless you may Allah increase you more in uh, uh, knowledge and may Allah bring this knowledge in our action Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now uh, over here, what kind of sentence we are looking at? Is Jumla Ismi or Jumla Felia? Can I just look at Alallahi and I can decide what kind of sentence it is? It doesn't show, it doesn't show both, no, uh, not either uh, i mean because the first word we learned that uh, should be verb is a, is failure and if it's a isim then it's ismia mm -hmm. so this is like um alallah it comes like mbf first mm -hmm. yeah so we can we can ignore that because mbf can be in both uh, sentences it could be in jumla ismia it could be in jumla failure yeah. right so we yeah. are going to ignore this one and now we are going to look the next now okay. what is next yeah tawakkal yeah, it is, is that uh, is some or a fail? Fail. 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 So that's why we're going to say that we are looking at a Jumla failure. Fail. Fail. Yeah. Okay. So now this is Jumla failure. And now, Alallahi, we know 
what is Allahi? MBS. MBS. Sorry, MBS. Yeah, in this case over here, because we are looking at Jumla failure, so this is our MB. F. And then what is the Vakalna? How we are going to label it? Felun. Madi. Madi. Exactly. Felun. Madi. Failu. Nahnu. And now what happened? Is that normal order? No. No. What should be the normal order? Tawakkalna Exactly. The normal order should be Tawakkalna Allah. We all put our Tawakkul, our rely, our trust on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That should be the sentence. But Allah Tawakkalna so MBF before is suggesting what? Exclusivity. Emphasis. 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 Yeah. So yeah. our tawakkul yeah. should be only on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Beautiful. Subhanallah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. The, um, um, we can... Um, uh, now we can see that, right? Right. Yes. Uh, in translation, is not going to show us what's going... What is happening. Only the grammar student can understand. So you should be proud of yourself that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has brought you on this point that you can see these things, subhanallah. And it, it really touched our hearts. And inshallah, I'm hoping that our uh, Ramadan gonna be the beautiful Ramadan in terms of uh, recitation and uh, whatever we will do regarding Quran. Sure. Pay extra attention to all these things, and inshallah, that is going to give you like a lot of satisfaction in your heart and a lot of pleasure. And inshallah, tears gonna rolls out of your eyes when you will hear the recitation and you will ponder over on this ayat. Uh, okay, then. Uh, that is one example, and we can see another example. Wa ilallahil masweer. Now, wa ilallahi, wa ilallahil masiru. Right. So, what kind of sentence we are looking at here? Here is a ismia. Jumla ismia. Right. Because there is yes. no fail. No. Right. Ilallahi. If we leave ilallahi mm. after that, al masir is ism. Yeah. Okay. How we are going to label it? So why is it a and illallahi? It's a uh, MBK because mm -hmm. this came first, which is Mukaddam, and then al is um, it is uh, Rafa and it is uh, Muqtada and it's Muakhar, Muqtada Muakhar. The meaning okay. is Allah is alone is the final place of return. Yeah, only towards Allah we are going to go, right? Nowhere else. People are running towards the Mars, right? They are thinking they can go and inhabit over there. But final return is no escape, right? So mm -hmm. our final return is only to Allah mm -hmm. one. Okay, now, uh, next one. Okay, what did we say about uh, al Masir? Is that uh, Muptada or Khabar? No, it's a Muqtada. 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 Because we need Muqtada more than anything else in Jumla. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Right? Yes. So we already have MBK over here. So now Muqtada will make more sense. Okay, next one. Wa indahu mafatihu That would be the first one is uh, Muqtada. I'm uh, sorry, uh, MBK. Special Zar. Hmm. Yeah. Who is attached for now? Yes, there is attached for okay. to it, but this is a, a MBK, the first okay. one. Mm -hmm. The second one is Matahun. Uh, Matahun, that would be. Uh, what is that would be. Is it Fragment? Mm -hmm. Well, the, the Idafa Fragment is going to be the Muqtada here. Exactly, yeah. because this is party who, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, so that is telling us that it is our muqtada. Okay, so in the who we said MB, okay, 
mm-hmm. and mafati hul ghaibi since they are one bucket mafati ho is light and al ghaibi is jar mm-hmm. right so uh, they are making uh, idafa fragment mm-hmm. over mm-hmm. Here. Mm-hmm. what is this idafa mm-hmm. fragment doing this is making it mubtada 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 mu'akhkhar right and now since it is mubtada mu'akhkhar and it is mafatih ul ghaibi is that proper yes mubtada mu'akhkhar can mm. be uh, common and then there is nothing this is basically normal sentence structure mm. right yes so this one is proper here because of yeah oh, okay. yeah because mudafi lehi is, is proper. making its mudaf proper yeah remember this rule right? mm. okay so now this is proper and this is mokhar exclusivity so exclusivity so how are we gonna say that and with Allah, it is the cease. Yeah. And with him exclusively are the keys of uh, the unseen. Exactly. So the keys of unseen are only with mm-hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, subhanallah. And then we say alhamdulillahi, right? Mm-hmm. And if I switch is lillahi alhamdu. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So basically again, Alhamdulillah is normal sentence structure, mm-hmm. but Lillahi alhamd, hamd only belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. Hamd and gratitudes. Okay, so now moving on, attached pronoun. When it comes to attached pronoun, it is normal for the attached maful bihi to come before the file. So we are not going to take it as abnormal sentence structure. Okay. Mm-hmm. In the example over here, it says Qatala Humullahu. So now over here, basically this is a curse. So may Allah destroy them. Um, I told you guys the difference before, right? One word is Qatala. What does Qatala mean? To kill. To kill. To kill. Then there is same root letters. Qatala. I can put into a different container, into different bab, and I can say Qatala. Now, what's the difference? Qatala means to fight. Yeah, the uh, extra alif is being added over here after the first root letter, right? And that is giving the meaning to fight. And I told you guys that fail madi can be used for dua or curse. Okay, over here, it is not that uh, Allah fight you all. Rather, it means may Allah destroy you. Uh, destroy them. Whom? Yeah. Destroy them. Now, Qatala Felun Madin, Failuhu Hua, and this whom is Mafulun Bihi. Right? Now you can say, okay, <laughs> and then the word Allah basically is the file because that, that was the Hua, right? Hua version mm-hmm. was in Qatala. So now someone can say, okay, you are saying that this is. Uh, Normal, uh, uh, this is not normal because there should be fail and then file, or, or fail, uh, a file could be inside and then maful comes, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but over here, mafulun bihi is before the file, but mm-hmm. we are not going to consider it as abnormal. This is normal mm-hmm. because the attached pronoun has to attach with the fail. Yeah. The yeah. attached pronoun has to attach with the fail uh, and then it is going to take the label of mafulun bihi. Because this is attached. I cannot say qatala who uh, qatala qatallahu and oh. then whom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 We can do that, right? Yeah. No. So that's why it has to attach. It has to attach, the attached pronoun is going to attach with the 
fail and that is normal. Normal jumla failure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is normal jumla. <clears throat> Okay. Then complex sentence. Having a sentence as a hubber. Look at the example. Inna fatahna laka fatha mubina. What kind of sentence? Ismia. 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 Because it is starting with ism. Inna. Yeah. Right? Now in Jumla Ismia. Well, this inna we're gonna say fe, uh, harfu nasab and this muha yes. together they are making what Muttada. 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 now what else do we need khabar khabar and Habar. yeah yeah but over here if you see fatahna what kind mm. of uh, word is fatahna this is fail and what is this laka? Laka is MBF. We cannot say MBK. Why not, Sister Aisha? Yeah, because it's going to as a failure. Yeah, because this laka is not related to the film. It's mm. related to Fatahna. Fatahna. Yeah. 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 Okay, it. so that's why this is MB F. Okay. okay, now Fatham Mubina. What kind of uh, construction is it? Are they rhyming? Or are they together? Are they one bucket or different buckets? Sifa Mosuf. Sifa. Exactly. Mosuf Sifa fragment. So yeah. they are together. Yeah. So, yeah. Mahul. Yeah. We gave victory to you. What kind of victory? Fatham Mubina. Mubina. Clear, clear victory. Clear. Okay, now what kind of what label this Fatham will get? Maful. Mutlak. Exactly. Why Maful Mutlak? Because it's sharing the root word. The, the yeah. Yes. Okay, so they are sharing the root letters. So how Maful Mutla can share the root letters and what else? Meaning. Meaning. Meanings. Even meanings. Okay, so these two things we need to remember about Maful Mutla. It can match in meaning as well. Yeah. In Surat No, inshallah, we will see some example of that when we are going to learn Maful uh, Mutlak. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, it kind sometimes it becomes very tricky and hard, so that's why I'm not going uh, taking that route. Otherwise, um, in, Jum, uh, in uh, Surat No, beautiful example of Maful uh, Mutlak. Okay, now it's this sentence uh, could be. Fatahna laka fatha mubina. Right? Complete jumla failure. Yeah. Yeah. Fatahna fail file and uh, laka mbf and fatha mubina is the maful mutlak. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But we can see that the whole jumla failure has become the khabar of inna. inna. Right? Yeah. So this is khabar inna. Okay. Khabar inna and what else we need to add? Khabar inna marfu'i. Khabar inna marfu'i mahalli. No. Khabar inna fi mahalli marfu'i. Yeah, fi mahalli rafa. Yeah, we can go this. Fi mahalli rafa. In place of rafa. Yeah. Because uh, this is Jumla failure, it's not going to show us that this is Rafa. Yes. Right? So that's mm -hmm. why we need to use this term. That inna, uh, the, basically this is Khabar inna and Fi Mahalli Rafa. And uh, so why inna is uh, here? What, what is this inna doing here? Why do we need to bring, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala need to bring inna here? It's 
exactly emphasis. so there is one emphasis it's when there is one emphasis in doubt audience in doubt doubtful audience mm -hmm. okay no emphasis neutral audience yeah one emphasis doubtful mm -hmm. and then two or more is refutation refutation mm -hmm. refutation completely mm -hmm. like a big argument is going on and uh, a refutation is basically um, is uh, shown over there okay now in uh, inside this khabar we have a complete jumla failure on a sentence level the word fatahna serves as the fail and file and the fragment laka mutallik will fail and fatan mubinan is muful mutlaq when the khabar is jumla failure pronoun inside the fail must match with the mubtada now you need to see this is beautiful inna what, what is uh, inside the inna is in nahnu nahnu right and now this khabar inna has fatahna this nahnu nahnu yeah. oh. okay so we should uh, keep that nice. eye on. they they should be matching mm -hmm. okay so mubtada and the khabar should match in number number and gender so these two things the fail must match with the mubtada in number and gender is it matching in gender yes because yes. nahnu can be for both genders yes. so in the example above the mubtada inna plus nahnu matches the number and gender with the pronoun fatahna now consider the sentence over here al muslimuna nasaru what kind of sentence ismiya jumla ismiya so people it please yeah so al muslimuna is mubtada mubtada and nasaru yeah is khabar is khabar jumla failia yeah and how we gonna say failun madin failuhu failuhu home home complete jumla failia so mubtada khabar and now al muslimuna how many muslims it's a plural plural so who is there yeah Right, mm -hmm. in Nasaru mm -hmm. we have whom? Whom Nasaru? Right, yeah. Muslimuna yeah. is masculine. Yes. Nasaru is masculine. Masculine. Mm -hmm. yes. Masculine. So they are matching. Subhanallah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is how we should be looking at them now. So meaning will be uh the Muslims they help so like it's. Uh, Emphasis. 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 Muslims, they helped. Like someone is not believing that Muslim can help someone. It's understood. So this is emphasis over here. Okay, next one. Nasa or Al Muslimuna. Yes. How how we can change? So, what kind of sentence is that one? First of all, jumla failia. Jumla failia. So, how we are going to label this one? Failun madin. Madin. Failuhu. Huwa. And then, what is this al Muslimuna doing? Outside. Outside tour. Outside tour. Fine. How we gonna translate? Muslims help. Help. The Muslims help. The Muslims helped. The Muslims help, right? Yeah. Now, can I convert this sentence into Jumla Ismia? Yes. 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 Oh. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Muslimuna Nasaru. Exactly. So now, Al Muslimuna, I cannot just say Nasara. Why not? No, because we have to. Because we have to match in gender and number. Gender and the number. Exactly. Right. So Nasara would be wrong. I can't do that. I need to say Nasaru. Mm -hmm. I need to bring home version. This is home, so I need to bring home version over here. Right? Now, let's see the other example. Kata, Katabat, Anisau. Basically, it should be Katabat 
तीन निशा ऊ राइट सो द लेडी व्हाट इज कथा मीन राइट राइट या रोड राइट रोड दिस इज माटी हेलन ओके सो दिस इज माटी शी रोड जुमला थर्ड पर्सन मन ओके सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू गो टू थर्ड पर्सन या सो कथाबत कथाबता एंड देन कथाबना सो अनिसा उ कथाबना दिस इज हाउ इट कोन गो नाउ हाद और द मीनिंग्स वुड बी द लेडीज यस दे रोट दे रोट या ओके सो देयर इज एम्फसिस व्हेन दिस इज हैपनिंग because uh, this uh, hunna is basically twice we have hunna over here and we have hunna over here so we have the emphasis right okay next one hadarat talibani what kind of sentence it's a failure 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 so if someone need to label this one hadara ट्रांसलेशनोड How many students? Two. 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 two students. Yeah. So two students. Yeah. Translation. Two students. Two students came. Came. Yeah. Or or uh, two students uh, were appeared. Yeah. You can say appeared or. Uh, or like were present. If I say they were present, so then we need to bring were, right? So two mm -hmm. students were present. Two student appeared. Two student. Whatever you are gonna say, right? Yes. Now we need to turn that into jumla ismiya. So at Talibani gonna Talibani. come first. Hadra, 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 hadra. At Talibani, hadra, and then hadra, hadra, right? Hadra, hadra, yeah. With Alif, what's that? Alif. That's it. because uh, uh <coughs> that is basically uh, huma version third person masculine right so huma uh, we said the mir or ghaib we should know these uh, terms right so third person basically the mir ghaib and then it is uh, musanna this right musanna mean dual dual and what else uh the muzakkar ya zankar muzakkar musanna muzakkar it's a little bit difficult to memorize like yeah why not hadarani sorry why not hadarani known is gone. why uh, because we uh, ha, where is hadarani 
you are going to film uh, uh, Daria. Yes, yes. You are going to film Daria. You're confusing okay. with film Daria, right? <laughs> yeah, even not Hadarani, that would be something different. Hadara Yahduru and then Yahduru Yahdurani, not Hadarani. Okay, so this is the Mir Ghaib, Musanna, and Mudakkar. Okay, now at Talibana or at Talibani? At Talibani, sorry. Okay, next one. Is uh, is tam taat again? Is tam taatil ummani? Okay, so whenever it is ending on uh, ta the the version, right? And we need to connect it next. Then we need to give it a kasra. Is tam ta tam is tam ta til ummani is tam ta til ummani ummani. Now, uh, what is ummani? First of all, it's uh, two mother mothers jewel mothers two mothers, two mm -hmm. mothers ummani. So yeah. ummun umman ummin and then ummani muslimani, yes. right? So two mothers. And now, what is istamtaat mean? It's like temporarily like uh, enjoyment, join, entertain, karna, join, karna, right? To benefit from yeah. something, right? So, the two ladies, but over here, I think entertaining will make more sense. So, two mothers yeah. entertained themselves basically. This word word is like uh, more than three letters in uh, like we learned till now like three letters verb. So this is like uh, another type of Mata, yeah. This ista the whole ista is extra. Okay. The so whole mata. this is mata mata a oh. is the basically whoever version. Okay. Uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says al uh, mataul uh, hayati dunya. Yeah. Right. So I these things are just benefit, uh, temporarily benefit, uh, uh, like we can take from dunya, mataul hayati dunya. So uh, this mata is the fail, and okay. its uh, uh, master would be mata. So this is the adding, is adding any meaning or something in the word? Yeah. Yeah. For example. This is the phrase Mataul Hayati Dunya. Okay, so now this Ista, what does Ista do? If we know the word Ghafara, what is Ghafara mean? Forgiveness. He forgave. Forgiveness. It's not Ista. Ghafara, he forgave. He forgave, past tense, right? Mm -hmm. And now, from this uh, Rafara, I can go, I can add this Ista. And I would say Ista Rafara. Mm -hmm. Now, where, where, where does Ista Rafara mean now? We seek forgiveness. We seek forgiveness. Yeah, he begged for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. He pleaded for forgiveness. Okay, so this Ista give the meaning of pleading, begging, Seeking, Ask requesting, asking, right? So it is very kind of emphatic. So mm -hmm. he begged for. for uh, continues, this. continues back. You continue again and again that way. Mm, yeah, when we are begging, obviously we don't say just once. This is not begging, right? Mm -hmm. Begging is obviously you are saying over and over. And you're mm -hmm. like on the nerves of someone, yeah. right? Repetition is yeah. So this is uh, ista. That's why surf is very interesting. <laughs> That's why we have so many bobs. That's why people cry in the surf class. <laughs> Super. <laughs> okay. And so now, uh, how we can convert that into? Jumla ismiya. 
so we'll bring the um um Amani um, um, first is it is yeah it? Hello. Hello. Amani and then this is feminine so is tam da because it's a uh, plural mm. tam da I, am I correct is tam da is tam da da tam da yeah. Because basically with this ta we need to add a leaf. That's it. Okay, yeah. Right? To make it dual. Is tam? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. I, I have this ta. Yeah, I forgot this one, right? Is tam ta ata. Is tam ta ata. So this is how it's gonna live. So two mothers they enjoyed. Uh, now, bada ar, bada ad darsu. So, bada mean to start, to begin. Yes. But they use samavati valar, right? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, this is how we gonna conjugate, uh, like, uh, uh, do the irab of this part. But bada ad darsu. Fell and madin pailo hu huwa. Ad darsu. Ad darsu, yeah. Uh, Outside door. The outside door, yes. Yeah, so that is the file. Okay, mm -hmm. and now how we can turn that into Jumla Ismiya? Very good. So we don't mm -hmm. have to change we don't have to change anything, just the order basically. So mm -hmm. bada. And we have made all the numbers and gender, especially in all sentences. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, Adarsu has Hua in it. Bada has Hua in it. Al-Ummani has Huma in it. Istam Ta'ata has Huma in it. Yes. Al-Talibani is dual, Huma. Yeah. And Hadara has Huma. Yes. So, it should be matching. Okay. Now, another interesting thing is uh, course. Now we know that uh, whenever kala or any version of kala comes, can someone conjugate kala for me? What does kala mean? He said. He said. He said. He said. And the interesting thing is, it's actually the actual word was kawala. Okay. Okay. Well, but this vow has changed into alif. Why? For the fluency. Yeah. Okay. Whenever we have weak letters, alif, vow, and ya, these letters are considered weak letters. And whenever we have these uh, as root letter in any fail, then some changes has to ha happen. And these letters are basically interchangeable. We will see many times alif changing into a uh, uh, vow changing into alif or a uh, alif changing into vow because there was the ma or so these changing uh, changes change happen very frequently in uh, especially in surf. Okay. So this that was kawala and from kawala, uh, what it happened? This uh, weak root letter has given transferred its. Uh, uh, fatha, whatever haraka it has, it has transferred to the letter before it and it became quiet. When it became quiet, now this fatha loves what? Fatha Alif. loves what? Alif. 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 Alif, right? Alif. So this uh, fatha said that, okay, this wow, I think you can go and just give me Alif. So mm -hmm. it changed into alif and it become kala. Oh. Oh. And kala from if I want to make it uh, mudaria. Okay, we didn't learn mudaria, so I'm not going to take this route. Okay, so now uh, kala. Can we conjugate kala? Yeah. Kala, kala, kalu, kalat, kalata, kala, kala. Mm, that, that's the problem now. Okay. Oh. Until okay. Palata is fine. Okay. Now when this Kala 
comes Fallen. to uh, comes to no no niswa okay. on hunna version Fallen. what was the requirement for hunna Oh, yes. Yeah, so Hunna said, Give me a spoon. Fallen. Now, if the last letter should uh, have spoon before uh, Nunu Niswa, and now you tell me what is uh, on this alif. So, Does this alif has any haraka? No. no, it doesn't have no. haraka, that means it has spoon. Right? Now, mm -hmm. two spoons never. Never joined in uh, uh, grammar in Arabic because we cannot pronounce right. Pro uh, uh, spoon means silent, so we cannot pronounce. So that's why what's gonna happen? This alif because that was the weak letter, right? Okay. So this weak letter will be so dropped, okay. and mm -hmm. now what do we have? Kalna. 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 Now we have kalna. Kalna. Mm. But there is any another thing is happening. What is that thing? Because this is uh, uh, soon we are going to learn nasara, and then when we go to bab, uh, when we go to, uh, we wanna make it fail mudaria. Nasara means he helped. If I wanna say he will help, then yeah, what's so. gonna happen? I'm gonna say yan suru, so. yan suru. So this middle root letter, sometimes when we are turning Madi into Mudariya, this middle root letter sometimes take Dhamma, sometimes it can take Fatha, and sometimes even Kasra. I so know. that is how we determine what Bab is it. Okay. In we are going to learn. So over here, this Kala is basically this Nasara Yansuru families. So that Kala belongs to this family. Now, if it belongs to this family, then it needs Dhamma somewhere. We do not have any enough letters to put Dhamma, right? So basically, this Dhamma is going over there. It's mm -hmm. supposed to be on this Alif, but Alif is dropped, right? So now mm -hmm. it's going to switch what was before that, and now this is how it becomes Kulna. Oh, wow. So this is math. This is algebra, math, uh, whatever you're going to call. This is surf, basically. <laughs> and it's coming. It's coming your way. <laughs> no, well, no wonder Arabics, Arab, Arabs were excellent in math. <laughs> <laughs> the language is algebra, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so be ready for that. That's why. You need to make your uh, Naha very strong. Okay? okay, so you don't have to worry about Nahu anymore and then we can move on to Sarf, inshallah. We can change the file by wrong statements, subhanAllah. Yeah. So now, any form of Kala, we know that Kala has 14 Segas, right? Mm -hmm. So we were on at Kulna. Okay. It become okay. Kulna. And we, we got it how it become Kulna? Uh, yeah, because we yeah. we removed the one alf, alif and then we joined with the lam and noon, Kulna, with the sukun on the lam. Yeah. And then this calf is taking uh, this U sound because this is part of some uh, part of the family. So this is the marker of this family that this family gonna have uh, U sound, Dhamma. Right, and uh, we do not have a middle root letter left because this dhamma is supposed to be on the middle root letter, but there is no mi middle root letter anymore because it was dropped a leaf, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So that's why we are passing this dhamma to the very first root letter. Okay. So it become kulna. Now after that kulna is easy, right? Kulta kultum, uh, uh, kulta kultuma kultum, and then kulti kultuma kultumna. Then, then pull two and pull now. Pull right? So this is how it's going to conjugate. Now, the point I'm trying to make over here, any 14 sigas regarding Kala, what's going to happen after that, we have some said statement because he said, now you tell me, he said, what question what? would come to your mind? What? He what said, did he what? say? What did he say? Kala. He said, Who said? Right? So he said, now this is the statement 
and whatever he said basically this is a statement of this person right yes yes so this is the said statement and said statement is basically we gonna uh, say that uh, term makul makulul qaul makulul qaul right mm. so makulul qaul mean the mm. said statement mm. of someone so basically after kala someone is saying something and these are his words right so that is said statement now this said statement what do you think what status it would have basically uh, not status i should say because mm. no the, the, the said statement when i'm saying because we are into jumla failure mm. because kala is a uh, fail right yeah so in jumla failure no, when we are saying okay he said he said what so basically yes, we are sir. getting the answer of what yes, right so basically after kala or any version of kala we will have mafulun bihi mm. and this mafulun bihi ca can be one word one sentence one word or even it could be uh, just uh, mm -hmm. uh, phrase meaning uh, what is that called fragment right it could be fragment or it could be even jumla the whole sentence right and then uh, since it is a sentence or it's not going to show us right the status so we are going to say fi mahalli nasab complete it nasab nasab why fi mahalli nasab because this is mafulun got it could so you please explain it again that, sister let me yeah one more time so whenever kala or any version of kala any siga of kala comes after that you might have a complete jumla because someone is saying something right so it, it would be a jumla and this jumla is basically mafulun bihi okay because it is giving the answer of he said he said what okay and this since we are labeling it, it as mafulun bihi and it is a sentence it could be jumla ismia it could be jumla failia right it could be any kind of sentence then we need to use the term fi mahalli nasab why we i'm saying fi mahalli nasab because this is mafulun bihi so how would we label word allah then it is not file yeah it is file so okay now over here over here we know that this the word allah is not sorry it's not by itself is it by itself or it is related to kala kala it is related to kala it's related to kala so that means this is one bucket yeah yeah because this is the file yeah. yes mm -hmm. Okay, so Kala Allah, so Allah, Allah is an outsider. Said, okay, an outsider now this Makulul call is coming. Mm -hmm. So in ni ma'akum, this is basically what kind of mm -hmm. sentence it is? India. India. Huh? India. It is Jumla Ismia. Who is saying MBF? No, it's Inni. How it is MBF? Inni yeah. is Harfu Nasab yeah. and Isam yeah. and Maakum is MBK. So yeah. this is basically Muptada and MBK. MBK. Complete Jumla Ismia. Yeah. And what is this complete Jumla Ismia doing here? Maful Bihi. Maful Bihi. Bihi for Kala. For Kala. Yes. And we're going to say Fi Mahalli. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's the same like how we did before in um Jumla failure was like a khabar for Muftada. So here Jumla Ismia is a, like a maful bihi for the Jumla failure. Am I exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. For uh, fail over here. So this is yeah. maful for kala. Yeah. For kala. 
so yes, that's what yes, Allah said indeed I am with you with all of you subhanallah how beautiful is the statement over here yes yeah, so sorry we can uh, break it's like uh, her photo and the call is fell in Madi and uh, um, this uh, file over and then we have outside your word Allah so we can break exactly. in the same way right hmm. yeah yeah okay okay got it yeah Alhamdulillah. Next one, Kalu. They said, Naam. Yes. So now, Kalu. How are we gonna label this? Felun. Yeah, Felun. Felun Mari Feluhum. Yeah, Felun Madin Feluhum. Right. So now, Kalu came. Right. So what we are expecting after that? Uh, before maful bihi, you need to say mapulul call. We are expecting ah, yeah. someone maful said statement. We are expecting. Ah, okay. Maful. Okay. This is makulul call, ah, okay. and now this makulul call is basically mafulun bihi fi mahalli nasab. This is how this long label I you should memorize and you should be. Mm. Right like that. So whenever Kala or any version of Kala, this whole statement I wanna hear from your mouth. Makulul kaul fi mahali nas. Makulul kaul mafulun bihi fi mahali nasab. Okay, so this just this word naam is basically uh, our maful because this is one word and naam it is just one version. It's, mm -hmm. it's not naamu, naama, naamu. Yeah. No. This is yeah. na. Yeah. yeah, yes. The, I was about to ask, like, naam is like, which kind of the like, uh, word is this? Like, so it's yeah. only. Okay. Yeah. It's like we say, yes, la and naam. La mm -hmm. mean not. No. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So naam mean yes. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, then uh, there are some list of question words over here. We need to memorize them. So in Arabic, most question words have no grammatical effect and can simply be added to the beginning of a sentence in both Jumla Ismiya and Jumla Feliya. So whenever we have to ask a question, or uh, whatever question we are asking, we are going to pick the related uh, herb and we can just have it in the beginning. So man mean who? Mm -hmm. Maza mean what? Or ma mean also what? Or whatever. Mata when? when. Aina where? Where? Limaza why? Why? Kaifa how? How? Hal? It did. 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 Hal or a? Yeah, question did. Okay. Yeah. Like a has a kitabun? Is this is, a book? Is, book? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So basically, any so way question. of asking a question. So yeah. not only did, but any way you're going to ask a question. Yeah. Are you which? Which. So mandarasa. Who studied? Hal mm -hmm. or a? You can use one of them. A darasat zainabu. So now you see that darasat. What kind of word is darasat? Yeah. 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 And that zainabu is the yeah. outside doer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And we just put hal or question in the beginning. Did Zainab study? Mm. Yes or no question. Uh, did Zainab study? Yes or no. Yeah. Then Mata Darasat Zainabu. Mata when? When did Zainab study? Aina Darasat Zainabu. Where? Where? Limaza Darasat Zainabu. Zainab is in trouble here. is in trouble here. 
रियल अरेबिक वे टू राइट इज विदाउट दिस अलिफ आई थिंक यू कैन फाइंड दिस राइट रिटर्न विद अलिफ इन सम Um, like Indian or Pakistani Quran, right? Yeah, but this is how it should be without the. <coughs> so, but when, uh, when we do, yeah. we have to say amma, not amma, right? <coughs> no, it, because this is alif, oh. right? In ma, it's supposed yeah. to have alif, but this alif is dropped for some reason. So it says the ani sarfujar comes before the question word ma, and this alif replace the fatha because yeah. of this shadda and fatha. This mm -hmm. alif is basically dropped. Yes. Yeah. And same thing over here. Fi ma kuntum. Now it's supposed to be fi ma, ma plus ma. Yeah. Right. So it should be with ma with alif. Yeah. But we we will find in Quran e Pak that this alif is dropped, and that is the reason uh, that this alif is re replaced with the fatha over here. Okay, then lima lima azinta lahum. Quran e Pak it says in Surah Tauba. Why? So again, lima. Why? Why? It, it it was like that lima with alif, oh. but this uh, alif is dropped. Dropped. Okay, so lima as in ta lah lahum. Why did you uh, permit it them? Why did you give permission to them? Man hua. <coughs> Who is he? Who is he? Hal hua. So so the back the last oh. sentence I didn't write the meaning. Lima azin talahum. I want to little go back. Lima azin talahum. Okay. What is the so meaning? Lima, why? Yeah, this Lima, one, this one. Yes. Why? But you are why? telling why? But is it written here for what? Yeah. It's the same. It's reason, the same thing. Yeah. Okay. For what okay. reason okay. you gave them permission, or why did you give the permission, right? Okay. Okay. For yeah. what? Yes. Thank yeah. You. For what reason? Because literally mean li is four, four. and ma is what? What? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So literally means for what reason? You go but upstairs and do it. Sorry. I just give us. Okay. Thank you. Jazakallah. Next. Next. Thank you. Very good. Okay then. Uh, limaza. Who? Where we were? Limaza. Hal. Hal. Who? Who is he? Yeah, hal man hua. Who is he? Hal hua mauju. Don't is he present? Mata hua. When no, is I, it? Yeah. So when this event is happening, mata hua. Aina hua. Where is it? Right. If we can ask about person, we can ask about even thing. Limaza hua mauju don. Why? Now over here, limaza. Why? Yeah. Why? Why, why is he? he 
Why yeah. are you present? present? Why are you present? Why are you present? Yeah. And maza, maza hua, but it is it. Yeah. So maza or ma. Yeah. Both what? can be used. But even with yeah. maza, we can eat like for what? I think because because of the lee, we can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Can... So over here. Have... Question. I have yeah. a question, please. Uh, if it says li maza, is isn't maza is why, but li is for, isn't it? So I'm a yeah. bit confused. So... Yeah, yeah. Li is this basically. A, I don't know if we are calling it jar majroor fragment over here, or this is just li maza. Mm -hmm. This is one mm -hmm. word. Uh, I'm not sure about two that. words. But literally, yes, we can see Lima Li is for and Ma Ma Lima like for, for what reason? reason? Uh, it yeah. really means yeah, for yeah. what reason? Like it is Jar Majroor basically. Yeah. But basically, it is giving the reason, so we can translate as why as well. So think, this is a question word. I don't know if we can call that as MB K or yeah. MBF as a Jar Majroor fragment, but I. I'm going to take it as a one word, Limaza. For what reason? Yeah, because in the start, we learn that these are not affected by grammar, like these questions. Exactly. Yeah. So we yeah. not worried about the, with the fragments. Yeah, exactly. So basically, we are going to treat <clears throat> Limaza. The whole thing I'm going to treat is as a Harfu Istafam. Yes. I'm not going to say that this is Jar Majroor fragment. No. Okay. Yeah. So you can just take it as one word as harfu is the form. Okay, so uh, this is your homework. And uh, um, if you guys want me to do any one example, we can do it and then rest inshallah. You, you can take care of it. This one and then we have this, so these 14 sentences, and then this is some vocabulary. Uh, I really wish that we need to weekly just increase some Quranic vocabulary in our, uh, uh, in our vocabulary list, because grammar is not going to help us unless we have good vocabulary of Quran as well. So make sure that uh, you guys are doing some uh, Quranic surah or whatever you recite daily. So make a habit that you need to learn some vocabulary as well. So let's pick uh, one sentence out of it. Okay, Ja'alu. Ja'alu, I'm going to pick the last one. Ja'alu aswabiyahum fi azanihim. So Ja'ala literally means to make. Right? Mm -hmm. Ja'ala khalaqa. And what is the difference between Khalaka and Jala? Khalaki means created. To me. So you have uh, some wood. So you have some tree trunk and you convert it into table. That is basically Jala. There's no tree material in Khalaka. Yeah. Khalaka. yeah. So Jaalu, but over here Jala does not mean make. This over here mean place. Yes. Okay. So, Ja'alu Pelun Madin. Fa'iluhum. Very good. Mm -hmm. And then, what is this? Aswabi Ahum. It's a pink. Uh, yeah, it's a attached, uh, attached pronoun. Exactly. So, this is Aswabi Ahum. Right? Yeah. Now, Aswabi Ah. Who was saying Rafa? Please, we need to come out of this now. We cannot call Nasab Rafa. We are not in lesson number one or two. So Aswa Bia, this is Nasab. Basically, then this, this is Maful. Yeah. Right? So they put, they put what? Their Right? So their fingers. So this is basically mafulun. Yeah. Azani. Yeah. And now fi azani. Aswabi ahum does not have any relation with fi. Yeah. 
No. Right? So that no. this asabia is one bucket. And now mm -hmm. he is her fujar. And mm -hmm. that's why we have uh, Azani is, is a majru. Is a majru. Yeah. Right? And, and then yeah. Azani is light. Yeah. And, and then he yeah. is uh, it's mudafile. Yeah. Right? So this is one bucket now. And what, what is this bucket going to do? What, what label it is going to get? MBF. Okay. So they put their finger in their ears. In their eyes. Oh, in, sorry. Ears. <laughs> I'm hungry, my <laughs> You need a breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I need my breakfast now. <laughs> okay, so inshallah, that is easy. And uh, I'm hoping that you guys would be able to do it. If you guys have any question, you can ask in the main group and I can help you guys on that. Sure. Okay. Inshallah. Inshallah. So inshallah, inshallah, with that, we can end our session. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Quran al-Hakim wa nafani wa iyaakum bi ayati wa zikri al-Hakim subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashadu la ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiruka wa nastaghfiruka wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifuna wa salamun alal mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin